What? Nothing. But I have to say it's simple. I just don't care anymore, Francis. The fact is, we have two weeks left in this school year, and you're not worth my time. We're going to push you through, Francis. I'm going to let you graduate from my school. You're not going to be my problem anymore. Ms. Van Bornger. To show up, Francis, that's all you have to do. Now, the law says you have to be in school, and if you're not, you can't graduate. If I have to see your face next year, you will not be a happy camper. Ms. Van Bornger. I could make your life very uncomfortable, Francis. Now, I see that your mother hasn't bothered to attend any of our truancy lectures, nor has she responded to our letters. In my opinion, you're an excellent candidate for state custody. Now, whatever happened to the... Uh, Social worker we sent. My dad kicked her out. How mature. Your father's now out of the picture, is that my understanding? Yeah, he left. Do you know where? No. It's just as well. I think you'll be better off. Maybe we can just focus on your problems now. I lost my mother when I was a young woman. And she left me nothing. And I got along just fine. Well, it's the warning bell. Where are you supposed to be, Francis? Jim. Get there. I trust you're in the proper attire? Yeah. Good. Aren't you afraid your parrot might fly away? Virgil would never leave his cage without permission. He knows the rules, as I trust you now do. It seems you are now late, but I'm sure it's for the last time. Francis, I'll be watching you. That's all, Francis. Smart bird. B, come in and get his file. I don't think we'll be seeing Francis again. Easy. Let me see it. Five bucks is yours. Five bucks? Last time it was only three. Well, this one's way better. That's what you said last time, and that one flew off. Well, that's because you're done. This one won't fly off. Hey, when are we going to shoot in the barn again? We can't. My old lady won't buy no more bullets. Well, we should do something else. What's she doing here? Francis. I want my bird. Jeez, Frank. My bird is gone, and you know where it is. Maybe it flew out the window. That bird does not fly. I don't know anything about this. Frank did it all by himself. He said it was his... Where's the knapsack? It's all right, Virgil. Everything's going to be all right. I'm here. <laughs> Now you listen to me, you little, you little torrent. If that bird is damaged in any way. I didn't touch a bird, Miss Van Boren. Was it the bird or the gold band? I'll have my bird or I'll have you. Do you understand? Now go out there and find him! And take a bird. You're, you're in big trouble, Frank. What are you going to do? Daryl. Something pink. What do you think? Heliterum, uh. Rosium, Grandiflorum. 
gamma lepsis, chrysanthemum, a pedulosum. Well, ad astra per astra, eh? Oh, look what you found. I forgot what a sense of humor you had. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez, Louise, you startled me. Here. I think these would look better on you. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and dewdrops. I've lost something, something, something for thee. Help me. Good grief, lady. How can I help you? I gotta go. Oh, we don't know where he's going, but he's on his way. We don't know where he's going, but he's on his way. Ain't she something? What do you need, kid? I'm looking for a parrot. Come on with me. Doris! Let's go! Hey, Tony, who's the chooch? Ah, the bird lady thinks he's a choocho bella. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, kid? I'm looking for a parrot. I got gabba, gabba, gold, genoa, olives, five kinds, provolone, but a parrot, I don't got. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find a parrot. Hey, this looks like a pet shop. Parrot? What kind of person eats a parrot? No, it's a big green parrot with a gold band and speaks Latin and can't fly. Hey, do you ask the bird lady? Yeah, you know, the lady you was just talking to. If anybody'd know, she'd know. The lady in the alley. Yeah, you know, she's around here all the time. She's our best customer. You know, she's rich. Now, every soup kitchen, every shelter, we deliver, she pays. On time. She seemed a bit crazy. I gotta talk to her. She's gone. Where'd she go? With the Episcopalian. <laughs> no, with the Episcopalian church down the street. What for? They're doing some blessing thing for the animals. Oh, hey, wait a minute, kid. Here, she wanted me to fill this up. You give it to her. What's in it? Well, you know, bird seed. <laughs> you know, I do it for her. She thinks we run a pet shop. <laughs> hey, Napolitan! You forgot your glasses! Where am I going? Go, down to the end of the street, take a left, go a couple of miles. Thanks! Hey, come back when we can fatten you up. You're too skinny! <laughs> And now...